hello everyone and welcome to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Ellie and um, first disclaimer as always I am NOT a makeup artist and yes that means it's gonna be a makeup tutorial and for today what I want to do is what I do for my everyday makeup uh, right now I'm breaking out because you know period hormones and all that stuff but it's way better than it was before so also if you want a video about how I got uh, better like you can go to my first video if you want and check how my skin look and how it looks right now so I think it definitely improved so I can do a video about that so if you want just let me know but what I want to show you today is what I do for my dry skin and for my acne and how I do like a simple makeup for every day that it's still gonna look good at the end of the day that it's super quick to do so without further ado Let's go with it. Um, now in the morning I think the secret is not to use thick um, creams or thick moisturizers. I use pretty light products that are just gonna help my makeup not to slide around my face. So that's one of my tricks. And I like to start uh, my application with this Caudalie um, Eau de Beauté, I don't know, Beauty Elixir. It looks like this and you have to shake it. It has some oil so it's gonna help the people that has dry skin I like to use this one so this is what I do first step and I have been using this emerald herbivore I guess cannabis sativa camp deep moisturizer glow oil and I like to use just a tiny bit and I just use it uh, during winter because I think for summer I'm pretty sweaty and um, you know I want my makeup to stay because not the most beautiful of the ladies as you can see here so I really need my mask to stay all day so now this is something that I discovered uh, around Christmas time when I went to Germany to visit the family of my boyfriend and it's this uh, Waleda and I'm not gonna say the name I guess it's like something with grenade or something like this and it looks like this and it's a super thin uh, moisturizer super super light it smells so delicious Anyway, so I went to Los Angeles recently and to recent, recently, recently, and also to Las Vegas and I saw this Cora Organics uh, Noni Radiant Eye Oil, looks like this and it's gorgeous and that's what I like to use lately under my eyes because I use quite heavy concealers because mama needs it and um, usually I was using like very thick under eye creams and they, my Consider we're just moving around, so I think it's important to use like a very thin eye product. Okay, time for makeup. So I'm gonna be using this Too Faced Hangover Based in Revitalizer, something like this. Looks like this, so I like to put this all around. And where I have large pores, I'm gonna be going with this e.l.f. Portless Patty Primer and super famous. I don't have to explain you about it, but this just is gonna fill in my large, huge, humongous pores in my nose. Because as you can see, my nose is not small either. And also here, you can see immediately, look how good it looks. It's crazy. This is a good stuff. This is good, good, good. Time for foundation. Okay, so for every day, usually I use either the It Cosmetic Foundation if I want a bit more of coverage. But when I have all these pimples, I usually go for this Clinique Anti Blemish Solution. It's not super full coverage, but um, later on, I'm gonna go with the concealer where I have the pimples. So not super concerned about it and I start dabbing it where I have most of the pimples so uh, I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star uh, concealer as usual in C7 it looks like this and it's the one that I usually use because I think it's the one that creases the least on me. So I like to put it here. Now, as you can see, I have a little wrinkle here, a little one on the under the other eye as well. So I never put the concealer there. I always put it underneath. Meanwhile. 
where I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows. As always, I like to do the good twin. Then we're gonna move to the evil twin because it's the one that gives me more pain in the eyes. Now with the same blender, if there's anything back from the conceal from the concealer, from the foundation on your hand, just take it a little bit and I'm gonna start with the pimples because I want the most coverage on under the eye, so I'm gonna let it sit a little bit more. And I dab. I don't swipe it. For powder, I'm gonna be using this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and I'm gonna be using this Beauty Blender Puff. It's super dirty, so sorry. I just have one. I use it every day, so I couldn't wash it for this baby. So it's what it is. But usually, like Monday to Friday, my brushes are not super clean. To be honest, I use the same ones. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of bronzer and I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and Contour in um, Dulce de Leche. Just looks like this. And I like these ones because they're just big pens, so I just dab it like, you know, I don't have to go around and try to put all the freaking brush inside. Just can do it easily. And I start with the cheeks. A little bit on the forehead. Okay, so here on the chin, I try to spend a little bit of time because you know, I have two chins, but you know what they say, better two than none, but just a little bit of contour, why not? the hair from my face. For highlighter I like to use something that is a bit beaming um, so I ensure that at the end of the day I still have some and I don't look super dry and I like this one from uh, Nabla it's the skin glazing in color ozone and it's pretty beautiful as you can see. No mirror but you know you can't ask for everything. I'm using this Jeffree Star um, brush that I bought in Los Angeles and no, in Las Vegas, sorry. And it was broken, so great Morphe. So I'm gonna be using this Kiko Milano Pop Revolution blush to go in the color number three. It looks like this. And it has a cushion and the makeup bit here. So when you close it, basically it just dips itself to the color. So face is done, let's move into eyes. And for eyes, what I like to do is I take a bit of bronzer and I take a big brush and just go around. And now for the eye, I'm going to be using this Nabla Curie palette. It looks like this is in the color nude. And it's super small, so it's easy to travel with. And I'm just going to be using one of these flat brushes, a smudger brush. I'm gonna dip in No Doubt, which is this one here. And I'm gonna take it down on the lower lash line. Now 
Now with the finger, I'm gonna go for latex nude, is this one here. So I'm gonna be taking this um, double seven uh, romance, just like this, and um, I'm gonna dip into this affair brown here, just to deepen up a little bit more because I feel like it's not so deep. Now the same color with the same brush, I'm just gonna place it on the outside part. Now with the super cheap palette, this one, so the pigment doesn't stay much. So if you just want to blend color, then it's okay. And now with uh, Seductor, there is this one here. And I think when you put a bit of shimmer on your eyes it just wakes you up instantly and it just makes you look like you just slept way longer than you actually have done so with the finger again okay so time for mascara and lately I'm, I'm really really loving this milk push mascara and as usual I use really small um, samples I buy them uh, not for free but I use the small ones because I think it's the way that you get most use of your mascara. I think when you get big tubes, um, they either dry or you end up not loving it and you just bought the full mascara and you lose a lot of money. This way you lose less and I think you also get to the end of the product before it dries. So both of the best worlds. Now for lips, usually what I like to do every day is a liquid lipstick, that's my thing. So for today we're going to be using this Innisfree uh, Vivid Cotton Ink in the color 15. So I always start with the bottom because I think it's where I have less work. Alright, I think I'm quite happy with the results, so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir again. I'm gonna try to avoid the eyes. So let's try this. Okay, so I guess I should change when I see you after I change. And I see you now. All right, so here we are ready to go to the office. And uh, yes, I sometimes dress up to go to the office and then other days I just go with sneakers and with jeans and depends on my mood that there's no middle turn with me really. I guess that's what Gemini is. Um, Gemini, twins, I don't know how you call it in your uh, country, but that's what I guess. Um, I do by nature and uh, yeah, so this is the final look as you can see it's a super simple uh, I look it's gonna look good during all day. So you're gonna look like this from 7 to 7 6 to 6 so that's really really cool and you don't have to do much retouch. So yeah, I hope you like um, This uh, tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye